Now, there are very few tanks in War Thunder that do exceptionally well when you take them out of their battle rating bracket. However, the Object 292 is one of these vehicles which excel in an up tier as well as your regular games. The 152mm cannon on this thing is insane. Uh, you can shoot an enemy and it will delete them off the face of the earth. Let's take this into a game and destroy our enemies. Right, I'm going to go on the left side. I feel slightly more optimistic going on the left side because if I go on the right, quite a few games recently I've just been dying. This is the uh, the road of death. There goes his barrel. <laughs> what is this interaction? I'm gonna leave him. <laughs> That was quite a funny interaction. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Uh, I can't really cap it because I can hear someone in front. Yeah, I like that guy. But I kind of feel sad if I do bump into him again and accidentally kill him. Or if he kills me, well, I mean, there's always that opportunity. He has. There are them all around here. Thank you very much. What was he doing? That guy's gone. Let's see who else have we got around here? Oh, there's another guy right there. You don't even, don't even aware. <laughs> the H E Deleter. <laughs> uh, and he's also just perished. <laughs> I think I really have just flanked the entire team on this side. Go. Oh, they really are distracted. This guy does not even know what's going on. He's reversed around back here. Attention to the map. <laughs> uh. Oh, no way, I messed that up. No! <laughs> this always happens to me. Every time I get close to a nuke, I just get shut down. Oh, great. Oh, come on. So close to this nuke, man. Just leave me be. Right, if I kill that guy who just killed me, cap the A point, cap the B point. I reckon that's a nuke. Ah, oh, but, you know, I'm too stupid, so. Keep thinking the turret reverse is going to be a lot quicker than it actually was. Well, this has gone downhill quite a bit. Distract him, my my friend. Fine, Leopard's gonna save me. He's saved me, Leopard. I... What? How did you die? I got one. And this is a really sad ending to the game. I really thought I was gonna... If, if I killed that guy on the C point, I, I that would have just been game, probably. Head back to base. 
All right, let's see how we do on this one. Let's, uh, let's go to the right slightly on this little hill. Oh, there was another one. Nice, got that guy. Oh man, I thought that was going to overpressure him. Clearly not. Hit the wrong spot. We crit hit him, although I don't know how... There we go. <laughs> nice. I may have blundered the first time, but I did make a recovery there. Into the designated grid zone. Attention to the designated grid square. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. Another guy. I was very concerned about that guy being behind me, but luckily we didn't get around that. Get your turn, please. No. Man, there was quite a few of them sat there. Now we go in for the heli. These missiles aren't as powerful as A50s. We've captured most of the strategic zones. There we go. Oh, we got spiked! I tell you what, those spike missiles are really good at taking out aircraft. Do some scouting. That guy. F4 rep. What the hell? Of course he got me. Oh no, I accidentally dropped my missiles. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Oh well, that, that was a pretty decent match. What is this map? This map is horrid. What? Look at the map design. Who thought it would be a good idea? This is literally just going to turn into a slugfest. <laughs> the fact that we're literally in this one at this point as well. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> uh, my guy pushed up too far. He did not stand a chance, let's be real. Oh, he can overpressure him. Yep. <laughs> that is friend coming up on the left, I believe it is. Yep. <laughs> All right, high explosive is just stupid. Another guy there. Ooh, not quite. This guy, I think, is just charging straight at me. Yeah, he's he's coming. <laughs> Poor fella. That guy on the left hasn't even seen me still. Oh, what is going on with this tank? I swear it just doesn't like me sometimes when I'm trying to use it. Uh, that did not work. Well, I didn't even need to stay on it for that long. Nice. That was um, pretty funny. Uh, 
I hit his ERA, and I'm dead. What am I doing? Come on. <laughs> well, yeah. Paid out. <laughs> How did that not over the pressure? There we go. <laughs> That's gone. There we go. Nice. I think that's pretty much game. Uh, yeah, but that is the Object 292. Very funny HE shell, which can just go bang and you're gone. <laughs> um, I mean... I mean, I think I preferred using the HE shells over the, the darts. Yeah, it's a very well-armored tank. The barrel's massive, so, I mean, it can get shot. That's one of the key issues. The other, well, obviously, the biggest issue with the tank is the reload rate, which is 10 seconds. But, I mean, other than that, terrific tank just in general. And you can say it is rather pricey on the Gaijin market. I mean, if you really want to get this tank, I'd say it's worth it. But, like I said... It's really expensive. I feel like it's going to be one of those tanks like the Object 279, I think, where its value in the next few years is just going to skyrocket. Like it pretty much in line with the IS-7 as well. Well, maybe not that far, but sort of along the lines of being around $800 plus. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as I really appreciate the support. And we're going to try and aim to get 500 subscribers soon, hopefully. And then... Probably apply for the partnership program, see if we can get that. That'd be very nice. Uh, but no, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one.